production of programming at school opens the door to progress and discovery. Recently, programming has become accessible for kids as young as kindergarten age. Coding teaches us logic and critical thinking, inspires creativity, and promotes persistence and resilience. This is Scratch. It was created by the MIT Media Lab to make programming easier for kids by making all programming be done with just blocks. All you have to do is place blocks to animate a sprite. This is much more easier than normal syntax. Programs like Scratch help young people learn to think creatively, logically, and systematically. To younger people, the opportunity to focus on problems rather than syntax. When I started as a university student, the only way you could get near a computer was if you learned how to program in C. And C is a really, really fussy language, and things like spaces and spellings would instantly stop your program from working. The great news is, well, nowadays with things like Scratch, everything is built by blocks, so you don't have to worry about spacing and typing and spelling. It will take care of it all for you. When you're in the elementary grades, you really need to focus on your building blocks of programming. So Scratch is really a great tool to do that because it teaches you how to build different um, scenes and settings as you're building like Legos, for instance. Then when you get older, you can start to learn the syntax behind all of that. And it doesn't matter whether you learn Java or another script. Either one, you're going to be able to transpose or learn another coding language really easy as long as you understand the building blocks that go along behind it. Not all jobs will require coding, but all jobs need their employees to think creatively and problem solve. This is MIT App Inventor. The same creators of Scratch made it for kids. In this website, you can design your own Android apps using blocks. This is ZLEGO, an app that Maxim Tanushkin designed to control LEGO Mindstorm robots through Bluetooth. It was made using blocks in MIT App Inventor. I think it's very hard at the beginning, but once you get into it, it's fun. Coding can be difficult if you aren't a logical thinker. School can teach coding, but what you're really learning is far greater. You learn to discover, explore, and to exercise your ability to translate abstract concepts and procedures into methodical, logical steps for a computer to act on. I think it's easy to make projects because, you know, like when you're on logo paths or something like that, you usually have to type in things, but when you're on Scratch, it's already there for you and you just drag it into a box. You click the thing, it does what you want it to do. What else I also like about it is when they have a program that's not quite working, they're so involved and they're so motivated to get it right that they go back into the program and take it apart and debug it and make it work and make it achieve what they want to them to achieve. Another new great way to learn to code is to program your own Lego Mindstorm robot. You program it graphically by blocks and then send the file to the Lego Mindstorm. Oh, 
What do you imagine a normal programmer is to be like? Um, it really depends. Like, I would imagine him as someone that sits on the computer all day <laughs> with the keyboard, or sometimes even a person that goes on once every couple of weeks and does something really interesting. I see coding, computer programming, as an extension of writing. The ability to code allows you to write new types of things. Interactive stories, games, animations, and simulations. And as with traditional writing, there is a powerful reasons for everything to learn to code. A lot of times, when we're working uh, in programming environments, it's helpful for kids to work together. So it really teaches them a collaborative working environment. So they're not just working on their own, feeling isolated or frustrated. They can work together to get all those things um, and solve their problems and achieve their goals. It's the difference between some kids learning just to handwrite with normal letters and the difference with cursive writing. Some people think that that doesn't even matter anymore, that it's much better just to learn how to code. Yeah, I mean, computers are everywhere and they're getting smaller and lighter and more portable and people expect to be able to do things anywhere at any point in time. So this whole area of like mobile apps and getting things uh, available at any time, anywhere, means that we don't have to write years and years of code to get it to do some big jobs. Sometimes the simplest things are the best things. I made this really fun game called The Very Hungry Pumpkin. There really is no goal of the game. It's really just to feed this really hungry pumpkin. encourage other kids unless they don't like no this is too hard because once if you get a good start you're gonna do great but if you do terrible and you doubt on yourself then yeah like I would totally encourage everybody to get involved in this it can be anything from some small app that helps you control a little object on the screen to huge app builders where you're building the app that is um, available on marketplace or uh, iTunes and you can download it and share it with your friends. There's limitless possibilities and it opens a door to a part of you that really is phenomenal and I've seen such amazing things from the kids I work with um, starting as young as third grade. They are building things that are way beyond what I would expect kids to do. So yeah, the, the future is now and the opportunities are here to really take it pretty far. Learn to program! Woo. If we want America to stay on the cutting edge, we need young Americans like you to master the tools and technology that will change the way we do just about everything. That's why I'm asking you to get involved. Don't just buy a new video game, make one. Don't just download the latest app, help design it. Don't just play on your phone, program it. 